Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing the differences of Artsoft's Mach 3, Mach 4 Hobby, and Mach 4 Industrial Motion Control software. Now, many of you already realize that Artsoft is the manufacturer of all three, of course, and you also realize that on Artsoft's site, if you actually do some investigating, you can find this breakdown available that I'm presenting you here. Um, if you once again go through looking for the, the actual features of the software. Um, I really want to just do this breakdown video because I get questions on this topic all the time. What's the main differences? Am I going to see my machine run differently? And to be quite honest, um, there's really not much difference between any of them um, other than price. I would say definitely price and the biggest variable is support. Um, when I tell you guys I stay with the oldest version of Mach 3, um, and main reason I do is because that if we do an open Google search on any topic and of course just like you I'm always learning I have used the software for uh, a much longer time many of you But that doesn't mean I know everything the software is very diverse and there's a lot of different types of systems that are supported um, But generally speaking if you do an open Google search on whatever topic you're discussing for Mach 3 Someone has asked a question before which definitely helps you um, Find a generalization of a yes and no be careful on form that are making recommendations for hardware using it. I tell you guys that all the time because it becomes more or less a piss and match on you know, whose opinion is better, so to speak, because once again, we don't always know end users' actual intentions and knowledge base on what topic they're discussing. So just keep that in mind. Um, what this video will not be is a complete breakdown of every definition that's presented by Artsoft because once again, there's um, numerous, numerous um, options in this, in both versions, or I should say all three versions of the software. The big thing here is the breakdown of what your machine will require, and we'll talk, talk about a lot of the actual components that will matter most to many of you. Okay, so what we're looking at here is number of axis. All three versions support six axis. Um, again, out of band axis, uh, you get one with Mach 4 Hobby, six with Mach 4 Industrial. Of course, Mach 4 Industrial, I mean, needless to say, is going to have the most feature set due to the fact that it is $1,400. Many of you will not be going that route, of course. Um, slave axis uses up coordinated axis. You get uh, Mach 3, you'll get three of those. Once again, using up coordinated axis, you're just going to limit yourself with the available axis you have, the more axis you slave in Mach 3. Okay, not available in Mach 4, not available in any Mach 4 for that matter. And coming over here, Slave Motors does not use up coordinated axis. Now, Mach 3, you don't have that. It's not available. But under Mach 4, you get four per axis, and Mach 4 Industrial, you get four per axis. What many people don't realize is, is that in Mach 3, if you do want to slave an axis without going through the software, you can do it by splitting your step and direction signals coming from your breakout board. Now, of course, that's not going to be... Uh, a feature set that you'll be able to do with an integrated drive system like a G540 or a Leechine, um, MX360 or MX460, but it is something that is doable, okay? And again, a lot of guys would say, well, why would you do that manually in the terms of using hardware when we could do it through the software? Well, once again, if you go Mach 3's route, you're getting the extra support. You are saving some money, not a great deal of money. Typically, between Mach 4 Hobby and Mach 3, we're looking at maybe $50, $60 difference. It's never a dollar thing when it comes to selecting the motion control software. What typically breaks down to is the amount of support. Now, Mach 4 being it's so new, Mach 3 being generations old, you, once again, get the benefits of having that support. Okay, so that's something you'll weigh where guys will say, well, you know what, I'll get four slave motors per axis and it doesn't use up my coordinated axis. So, you know, for me, it makes sense. Well, if this person has never used motion control software, what they typically find is that when they have more questions about this software, they don't find it. So while they'll, they'll actually get the feature they're looking for to actually support their system hardware related to make it easier, so to speak, what makes it harder for them is looking for support on topics that aren't really readily available with Mach 4 yet due to it being so new. So it's kind of like Robin Peter to pay Paul. Once again, be very cautious on the way you proceed with motion control because questions can lead to downtime if you're not getting the answers you want as quick as you'd want. So again, I cannot emphasize that enough. Moving on, you can see we've got our API interface. Uh, open to all hardware, yes, yes, and yes. That's the beauty of using you know, Mach 3, Mach 4 is the fact that, once again, it's not proprietary in the sense that whatever hardware you're using, 
you're, you're generally going to be just fine if we're dealing with step direction signals. Um, over here, extended plugin support, they all support that. User customizable GUI, they all support that. Uh, again, um, if we come down, unified GUI interface, Mach 3 doesn't have it. Once again, Mach 4 Hobby, Mach 4 Industrial do. Unlimited input output, um, yes, yes, and yes. Modbus PLC, yes. Um, and we're going to skip here, PMC ladder, unlimited file size. Unlimited file size, kind of interesting because... Again, I've yet to have Mach 3 give me a problem with uh, any files that I've done. And generally speaking, I've, I've yet to have anyone really say that, uh, that their file size is what's limiting them. Um, but it is something to consider. Uh, again, I would look into that based on your general applications. There's no way you're going to know um, if you're you know, a novice in the sense that you've never used the software, if that'll be a hindrance. But it is something to consider. I know it may sway some of the guys, but keep in mind... Uh, I can tell you that I've run some really large files. As long as your hardware is up to date as far as your PC, you generally never have any issues. So, again, just keep that in mind as far as what you're looking at. Toolpath display, of course, yes, uh, for Mach 3 and Mach 4. Toolpath speed and quality, low. Then Mach 4 hobby, it says high and high. We, again, for industrial, again, we don't know exactly what low and high actually means um, in terms of speed. But generally speaking, I just look at the PC once again that you're running this software on, whether it be your CAD cam or if you're just isolating a PC just for Mach 3 or Mach 4. Uh, the better the hardware that's in the PC, naturally all your applications run smoother and more stable. Common sense prevails, so just keep that in mind. Scripting customization, yes, yes, yes. We can scroll down now and you can see that this list becomes really long and drug out. And most of this stuff you guys are going to look at and say, what the hell is this? Uh, I don't even know what that is. And like I said, most of the time, if you don't know what it is, you're probably not going to need it. Um, again, you can see Mach 4 stops over here with simulated 3D machining with additional plug-in license. Uh, coming down, it starts again. And what's really funny is like the, the actual feature sets that most of you guys all realize uh, Mach 3 does support, variable speed spindle. Spindle relay, coolant relay, mist relay, threading, rigid tapping, single block, uh, block delete. I mean, you go on and on, and basically at the bottom where everything counts, that's where you find, uh, when I say when everything counts, I'm talking for most of us, that's where you find the feature set pretty much as even. Okay, as we scroll down a little more, uh, G52 offsets, yes, Mach 4 Hobby, yes, and this is where Mach 4 Hobby and Mach 4 Industrial really get everything going. Event-driven multi-line MDI. Subs and MDI, OpenGL optimization, multi-platform operating system compatibility option. Those all three are on there. Now, the thing that's interesting with this is that Mach 3, of course, does support multi-platform operating systems in terms of supporting Windows 7 and Windows 10. The misconception is you will require uh, a UC100 motion controller or Ethernet smooth stepper in order to achieve that. Okay, and that's only because we're not installing our parallel port driver, because of course you will not be using a parallel port uh, actual connector or cable in order to uh, control step and direction signals, because that's where the UC100 transpires them into USB format, and the Ethernet smooth stepper would transpire them into Ethernet uh, format. So keep that in mind. Online support, yes, all three of them got that. Again, one thing that I think is most critical here and missing is online support, not only online support, but the dated, uh, the dated library of online support available. Once again, Mach 3 would take the cake. I mean, it's been around the longest, so support is very easy. And then they give you a breakdown summary here of what they're telling you. And, of course, this is a little biased because, of course, they want you guys to have the latest version of the software. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, the main thing here is... Uh, Artsoft really has winners with this software. Uh, I'm very happy with Mach 3 myself. Um, I think more people become uh, more depth with it, and as they become more depth with it, the areas that you know most have trouble with, the more they become in tune with the software and the way it behaves, you actually gain more appreciation for it. It's like anything else. You know, you buy a, a new tool, whether it be your first uh, CNC robot. And learning it, you've got a heavy learning curve. But as you become more and more in-depth with it, you find that, you know what, whatever pet peeves you had originally with the system, you kind of get so familiar with that it becomes just ingrained in you and it becomes, you know, natural. So 
With Mach 3, it's absolutely no different. Mach 4, I'm assuming, is the same way. Um, again, you're, as far as screen sets being older, I get questions on that too. You can download uh, recent screen sets for Mach 3 to make the software look updated. A lot of guys look at the older version and they like to change things graphically, make it look a little more modern, very simple to do, um, and it's free for most part. I mean, if you guys want really extreme screen sets, you will maybe uh, have to pay for some of them. So just keep that in mind. But the main thing here is my personal preference is Mach 3. I recommend it to all my clients mainly because, again, support. That's the main thing. It's certainly not a pricing thing. Um, but for you guys, if you're already comfortable using Mach 3 and you're tired of it or you think that you know, you're ready to move to Mach 4 and you're pretty much self-sufficient as far as support requirements, I say go for it. If it's something that you think you're going to move to because you're going to see a dramatic difference, that's just not there. And again, reviewing all these feature sets, I think, will help you guys really look at that and make an assessment. Of course, I believe you can download uh, Mach 4 as free version, just like Mach 3. I mean, Artsoft never changes that, so you can test everything out, see if you like it, which I think is really great. Um, and, and just do that. You know, I mean, again, don't rush into buying. If you're a, a rookie getting into this, the thing to look at is familiarity, you know, getting your feet wet with one and then moving on to another. I tell you guys all the time, learning the software first and putting the most time in that is really where it's going to pay off because without the software, the hardware is, you know, useless. You know, you'll have a paperweight and that's silly. You know, the more time you invest in the software, becoming, you know, really adept with it, streamlined with it, study the manuals, act, take it like a college course, guys. You know, I mean, there's no other way to explain it. It is in depth on whatever version you go with, but the more time you put in, you'll definitely see that and appreciation of use with your system. And once again, becoming, you know, really adept with it and everything is fine tuned. It's a thing of beauty. So again, I hope this video has been helpful to everyone out there thank you for your support uh to my subscribers i love you guys we'll keep everything going and again if you guys do have questions again uh i generally will answer any question dealing with mach 3 or mach 4 on a weekly basis i mean i, I once again get thousands of questions on this and it's a lot of them are redundant so hopefully this video has helped but i know with every video comes more questions i'm expecting that if you guys need to contact me contact me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com um, you can send anything there any general questions around uh, and again any price quotes you require you can also contact me through eDealers direct which is my ebay store i'll put links in the description below you guys will be all set take care